Hello Year 3. Over the next two weeks we are going to be looking at the story Amazing Grace, written by Mary Hoffman and illustrated by Caroline Binch. Before I read the story, I would like you to make some predictions based on the title of the story and the front cover of the book. What does the title of the book tell you about the story inside? What do you think happens in the story? Who is the girl on the front cover? What can you tell me about her from her picture? You may want to think about these questions in your head, discuss them with an adult or write them down. I'm going to give you a minute to have a think about these questions and make your predictions. So, what did you think? You may have said that the title is the name of the girl on the front and that she's amazing because she's done something amazing. What happens in the story? Well, you may have thought that perhaps Grace overcomes a problem or she does something amazing that makes other characters feel that way about her or that she has an amazing skill or talent. Who is the girl on the front cover and what can you tell me about her from her picture? Well, the girl on the front cover, you may have decided is a Grace. And you may have noticed that she's a young girl. You may have noticed this from her missing front teeth and that makes her between about six and eight years old. You may have noticed that Grace has black skin and her hair is in twisted bunches with ribbons and she's wearing a pink and white striped shirt so she's not in school uniform. You may have noticed the look on her face, her eyes are wide and bright, she looks happy or excited or maybe even infused by something. Right, I'm going to read the story to you now. Grace was a girl who loved stories. She didn't mind if they were read to her or told to her or made up in her own head. She didn't care if they were from books or on TV or in films or on the video or out of Nana's long memory. Grace just loved stories. And after she had heard them or sometimes while they were still going on, Grace would act them out and she always gave herself the most exciting part. Grace went into battle as Joan of Arc and wove a wicked web as a Nancy the Spider-Man. She hid inside the wooden horse at the gates of Troy. She crossed the Alps with Hannibal and a hundred elephants she sailed the seven seas with a peg leg and a parrot. She was Hiawatha, sitting by the shining big sea water. And Mowgli in the backyard jungle. But most of all, Grace loved to act pantomimes. She liked to be Dick Whittington turning to hear the bells of London town, or Aladdin rubbing the magic lamp. The best characters in pantomimes were boys, but Grace played them anyway. 
when there was no one else around, Grace played all the parts herself. She was a cast of thousands. Poor, poor the cat usually helped out. And sometimes she could persuade Ma and Nana to join in when they weren't too busy. Then she was Dr. Grace and their lives were in her hands. One day at school, her teacher said they were going to do the play of Peter Pan. Grace put her hand up to be Peter Pan. You can't be called Peter, said Raj. That's a boy's name. But Grace kept her hand up. You can't be Peter Pan, whispered Natalie. He wasn't black. But Grace kept her hand up. All right, said the teacher. Lots of you want to be Peter Pan, so we'll have to have auditions. We'll choose the parts next Monday. Okay, so this week you are going to be looking at three different skills. You're going to be using your Rex Retriever skills, your Victor vocabulary skills, and down here you're going to be looking at your inference Iggy skills. So some skills are going to be slightly new, like the inference Iggy this week. Let's look at Rex Retrieval first, and this is a skill that I know that you all do really well with. Let's take a look. Let me just get my highlighter pen. Let's take a look at the first question together. So remember, Rex Retrieval, you need to use your skimming and scanning skills. You skim the text to find those keywords, and then you scan the sentence that it's in to find the answer. So let's look at this first question. Who made up stories from their long memory? Right, so I'm looking at that, that clue, long memory. So here we go, I know that's in the beginning somewhere. Here we go, long memory. Who made them up? Nana. So my answer here is Nana. Now we're gonna look at our Victor vocabulary. Now this week, your Victor vocabulary skills are slightly different. You're not going to be looking for words in the text and then trying to find their meaning from a dictionary. This time we're going to be thinking about the author's use of language and how it's added meaning to the story. So they are slightly different and more tricky. You may need to discuss these with an adult or if you're really struggling, struggling excuse me, you may want to check my answers and see if you feel the same. You might have a different answer. Let's look at question three together to give you an idea of what, what they're going to be like. So it says, in the last part of the story, the author repeated the sentence, but Grace kept her hand up. What impression does this give you about Grace? Well, let's look down here at this last part. So first of all, P um, Raj sorry, tells Grace, that she cannot be Peter Pan because that's a boy's name, but Grace kept her hand up. Then Natalie says that she cannot be Peter Pan because he wasn't black. And then she, it, the author's written, but Grace kept her hand up. So what does this tell us about the character Grace? What impression does this give us about Grace? Well, it may tell you that Grace is so enthusiastic about having that part. She doesn't care what other people think. You might think that Grace is a, a determined character. So you can see that these Victor vocabulary skills are a bit different this time. You are really having to think about your answers. And the last questions are your inference Iggy questions that you will have on Wednesday. And again, they are trickier. You are reading between the lines. You are sniffing out those clues to come up with the answers. So they require you to think quite carefully about them. Let's look at the first question together. Which word best describes Grace's character? And why do you think this? We've got cowardly, nasty, imaginative, and shy. Well, I think Grace isn't cowardly because she puts her hand up straight away at school and that means that she can't really be shy either. 
We don't know enough about Grace at the moment to say if she's a nasty character. However, from the clues that the author has given us, she is definitely imaginative. And how do I know this? Well, Grace enjoys acting out parts of the story. And when she's acting out, she goes into those characters. So she goes into Butler's Joan of Arc. She weaves a wicked web. So these are the answers to your questions. And then you use those examples from the text to help you. Good luck, Year 3. I know they are a bit trickier this time, but I have full faith that you will do really, really well. And we look forward to seeing your answers. All the best. Bye for now. Mrs. Moulton.